Hello, my name is Matt Butler. I'm with Eastern Engineering. I'm, I am a HP certified technician. I've been with Eastern Engineering for 18 years. First, I'll start by showing you how to load paper and ink. Click the paper icon and you'll see that it shows you the different rolls and you want to hit the load button and it'll start walking you through the process of loading the paper. You squeeze the handle to open the drawer and you'll see there are these little paper spindles. This slides back and forth so you want to make sure that this is all the way to the right before you load the paper. Also try to keep this little um, guide here in the center of the drawer. What you want to do is you want the paper to feed from underneath and towards you and when you put the paper in you want to put the left side of the roll onto this blue spindle first so you kind of lower it at an angle. So you want to put that in there like so and then let the, the paper rest onto that, paper, that plastic guide and then you take the far right hand spindle, lift up the handle and squeeze it into the roll. That will grab the roll. Do you want to feed it underneath these black covers here? So what I do is I usually, I'll take the roll and try to get the slack out and then use the roll itself to push the paper underneath there. And then you'll see it will grab the paper. It'll check the alignment and then you'll hear a beep indicating that the paper has been loaded and you can close the drawer. So this is the screen you'll get after you close the paper drawer. You'll see a, a blue menu here to choose the type of paper that you installed. So if you hit that blue bar, you'll get categories of different types of paper you can choose. And for your, your basic bond technical paper, you just go into the bond coded category. And in here, you have different types of paper. Um, but if it's just a plain 20 pound paper, you want to choose plain paper and then you hit OK and then here you have an option to put in the length of the roll it's not mandatory but you can put in the length and then it will keep track of how much paper is on the roll uh, most most 20 pound rolls are 500 foot long um, you can read the label on the box and it will tell you you can also put in custom lengths if you have any smaller rolls to put in And then when you're done, you hit finish check and it'll check the width of the paper and it'll check the alignment and let you know if everything is successfully loaded.